and I think one of the things that I found quite scary uh, is that this whole gamification is now leaving the digital realm and entering the real world. Hmm. So there are towns in China now which use a social credit system. Um, so social credit is not what everybody thinks it is. Everybody thinks that China's just the Chinese government has got this one single social credit system that governs the whole, you know, basically gives you a score based on how well you follow the law or whatever. That's not really how it works. I mean, it does work like that, but it's, it's a lot more smaller in scale because at the moment, the Chinese government hasn't found a way to in implement this at a national level. So what's currently going on is that there are villages in, in China um, which are basically, they've, it, they've started this pilot scheme and it's creepy as hell. Uh, basically they have, the local authorities there have a social credit score for all of the citizens. And you can be awarded points for things like um, uh, helping other people, for instance, like, you know, if you help somebody, uh, if you engage in uh, charity work or volunteering, or if you donate blood, you'll gain points. You can have your points docked if you uh, do things like um, uh, cutting people off in traffic or mm. uh, littering or, you know, uh, any kind of antisocial behavior. And what's really creepy is that they've got these billboards in, in this town, which have got leaderboards on them of the people that have got the highest score. And basically, it's it's creepy, it's creepy, yeah. <laughs> and it basically, uh, you know, it basically says I mean, it, it sounds this, like a sci-fi movie. It does. It sounds like it's exactly like an episode out of Black Mirror because there was yeah. an episode of Black Mirror uh, which had this this very same premise. And um, it's basically, you know, they show leaderboards and basically show who's who's got the highest score, saying, you know, this person is the person to beat. Basically, you you know, come on, you can do it, and all this stuff. And and there are people going out there and they're they're constantly logging not only do individuals have scores, but families have scores as well and houses have scores. So each home has its own score. And so mm -hmm. this incentivizes people in a family to ensure that their other family members are doing the best possible thing that they can do to get as many points. So it's a very interesting using this kind of idea of uh, sort of promoting teamwork like, a, like any good game does. So you have like, you know, fathers are teaching their children to do certain things in order to get higher scores. Uh, and then those they get rewards uh, as a result of that. And this is a pilot scheme which apparently has been working quite well in in certain towns. Uh, I think Rongcheng is, is one of the the ones that's been using, and Huangchu is another um, of, uh, town that it's been used in. And so far, this hasn't been implemented at a nationwide level. But these pilot studies have apparently proven quite successful. And there's this weird, uh, you know, weird risk of it actually becoming a national thing. And if it works out there, I mean, who knows? We've already got something similar in the UK, in the UK, and in the US, but it's not—it's not individualized. It's more collective. It's more business oriented. So you've probably heard of ESG scores um, and carbon uh, points and things like that. So we do have social credit systems in the West as well, but these are used for businesses, not for individuals yet. Maybe in the future they'll be used for individuals, but yeah, I mean, I feel businesses. like Canadians would love this idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because well, I think, they I think... were so they I mean they Canadians were so gung-ho about all the COVID mandates, for exact example, the vaccine mandates, and were very interested in being in other people's business about doing the right thing and protecting, you know, the vulnerable. And um I feel like if they had had the option to incorporate this into some kind of social credit score system where you know you get your vaccine you stay home you don't leave the house you put your mask on you get points and those who don't play along lose points and can't participate in society or are punished in a variety of ways they they would yeah. have been totally on board with that 